Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is uh, day 25th of February. Uh, Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. Let me know what you think. Uh, I just got back to Medellin. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, cl- uh Bogota was fun uh feeling a little bit better now though still not 100 percent. i think the altitude was the crazy part uh for me um so yeah we'll see how that goes uh, today i'm just tired because i haven't been sleeping enough uh given all these random issues so yeah we'll see how that goes today's problem is compare version numbers 165 compare them okay what does that mean it is so one or more with the okay with the left okay so then okay if version doesn't have any then so okay feed to reward mm, so that one point is mm, i want to mm, i mean that's fine oh i see that, i was trying to figure out how does it not specify um okay so, I mean, this is pretty straightforward, I think. So, at least in Python, you could do even just... Oh, maybe not. Because mm. I was going to say, uh, you could just do a comparison on the array. But um, you have to be a little bit careful. So, I guess that's fine. Okay, so we want to say, is you go to version one, that spread of a period. And then for each of these, we want to uh what do we want to do right let's convert this to a to a function anyway um so for we in this we want to do just an int i think it's good enough uh yeah so let's just return this and then we do version one and version two, right? And then uh, I'm just gonna be lazy. And then while we want a uh, link for v one, is less than link for v two. We want dot append zero, uh, and then we do the same for the other part. So then now after this, that's what you're trying to do with these things with an invariant, or try to get uh, a precondition anyway is that now um now they have the same length right so then now you can return v1 uh, i guess i was going to say but okay du, 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 du. and return negative one else if v1 is greater than v2 return one otherwise return zero Oops. i think this should be good let's give a spin i also wonder if you could just do like a one point something uh, what I mean by that is have like one point versus 1.0 or one point and I don't know something like that I don't know if that's valid input because I didn't really look it up that deeply um, Nope, cannot. Okay, so that's good. So let's give it some mid. Let's Maybe a little bit YOLO, but I feel like I'm Okay, cool. There you go. Another pound room 696. Not an ambigram though. Anyway, uh, cool. I mean, this is linear time because we look at each. I mean, everything is linear, right? So that's going to be linear time. Um, Like, this is linear. Um, And calling it twice would be linear. This is at most linear. Um, And the comparison, even though it hides a bit, is also linear, right? Because it's bitwise, or not bitwise. Um, It's element-wise comparison, so that's going to be linear. In terms of space, we do create extra of n space. I don't know if you could, mm, I guess technically you don't need it. You could do it um, like, um, like you could do it with pointers and then do it uh, uh, on the mem, you know, like you only, you only need to keep track of the current uh, uh, version or whatever they call it, revision. So in theory, you could do all one space, see if you can do it one or one space. It's the same idea, a little bit of more annoying programming, that's it. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.